Hi everyone, um, you'll notice a change in background colour if you've seen any of my other tutorials. I'm developing a new series called Personal Awareness or Personal Development uh, Tutorials and I'm just, in again in five minutes, now trying to keep them as low as five minutes, I'm trying to give an overview of tools and techniques that we can use. The management tutorials are about the management stuff. This one is about personal development, so orange background, black writing, personal development. So this is all about uh, reacting versus responding. So if we're talking about reacting in a situation versus responding, uh, it would be very handy to try and articulate what the difference between the two is. Uh, reacting versus responding. So an event happens, let's say we're at work and something challenging occurs, a moment happens, a difficult colleague, a challenging direct report, a line manager throwing something at us, a client being uh, difficult or challenging or a supplier uh, causing us problems. We are going to have, um, uh, we're going to have to do something in, in that context. So let's have a look at the difference between reacting and responding. Reacting is more often than not knee jerk, okay, whereas responding will be preceded by a pause. So if we react to something, it is often immediate, it's often unthinking, and like our knee jerking when tapped, it is a kind of instantaneous response or a reaction. A response, on the other hand, is more considered. A response often is preceded by a gap, a pause, and that pause is often where we're thinking. Now, unthinking could be considered to be habitual, which is what we're talking about with reacting. And often our habits, our reactions, will be habitual versus the choice element that can be included in the idea of a response. So if we do something habitually, it's often ingrained and it's, it's, uh, it's in, into our sort of fibre, as it were, whereas a response can often have a choice. And choice implies we're weighing up the options between a number of different things. It could be two, it could be three, it could be four, it could be many options. But a response, because of a pause, gives us choice. Because it's habitual, because it's knee-jerk, reacting can often be very short-term and only around, concerned around avoidance, aversion, getting away from, sorting, solving, getting rid of. Whereas responding is much more focused on the long-term outcomes, the things that are of benefit to me, the things that are of benefit to the people around me, the things that are of benefit to the whole situation. So a response is more long-term. It implies a better future in some way. Because of all the elements that we've mentioned so far, you'll often find that reactions are emotionally driven. Now, we may consider ourselves not to be emotional people, but reactions somewhere will be embodied, somewhere within the somatic experience of the body. There will be some kind of gut reaction. There will be some kind of instantaneous, emotionally driven response reaction. There I go again, confusing the words. Responding, on the other hand, implies that we have an element of free will that we can deploy. And when we have free will, we're making choices. And when we're making choices, we're making more wise decisions for future. There's a tightness associated with reactions. We're often very taut and we're responding and we're reacting without thinking. There is more of a relaxed approach when it comes to responding because we're more considered, because we have choices. Something to, I use these words small mind carefully, okay, and big mind as the difference between the two things here. The small mind is not that you are small minded, the small mind is to do with my mind has contracted around a problem. My mind has shrunk in to the only thing that I can perceive is the thing that I'm reacting to. A big mind has opened up the plane of possibilities. It's opened up the fact that, yes, there's this thing that's happened, and here is one choice, one option, but here are the other choices, things I might not have even thought of. The pause gives me an opportunity to be relaxed and to consider other options. So it's this sense of big mind. And ultimately, when we compare the two, and I think in our self-awareness and in our personal development, what we're trying to develop is to get away from unskillful uh, responses, reactions, should I say, and into skillful responses. 
And when we can be more skillful, when we can do things that are more considered, then it's likely that we're going to get a better outcome and we're going to be calmer throughout our day. And you'll notice this in things like heart rate and breathing rate and stress levels, that if we've had a responsive day rather than a reactive day, we're likely to find that uh, much less stressful. Thank you very much for listening and uh, hopefully uh, I'll speak, be speaking to you again soon in another lecture.